Well, King's Dominion finally let the cat out of the bag, and we have our official announcement for 2018. In addition to Winterfest, we have Twisted Timbers, an RMC redo of Hurler. And man, King's Dominion absolutely nailed it with this one. This is going to be a fantastic addition. Remember, the last new coaster we got was Intimidator 305 in 2010. So it was totally awesome to finally see a huge addition come to this park. So I'm going to be giving the full breakdown on this ride so you can know exactly what to expect. We're going to talk about the theme, all of the elements, all of that good stuff. So let's start by talking about the actual announcement itself. King's Dominion was gracious enough to invite us out to actually attend the announcement live in person. So big thanks to everyone over there. It was really well done. We are greeted with all of this theming on this stage. It was set up as Hanover Hill Orchard. You could see this truck outside, lots of signs for like apple picking. You have to remember, Hurler is located in Candy Apple Grove, so that's kind of why this all fits in. But the announcement started off when we had two people come out and actually talk about the orchard itself. And Kings to Me actually gave out this card that talks about the theme, kind of giving a backstory. So I'm going to read that now. On the outskirts of Candy Apple Grove sits the remains of a once thriving Hanover Hill Orchard. No one can say exactly what happened that day back in 1950. What destroyed half of the harvest in a matter of seconds? What shook the ground, turned over tractors, shattered glass, and nearly peeled the siding off the warehouse, all without warning, all without a cloud in the sky? Strictly off limits for decades, this land of local legend is finally open to the public. Take a ride through previously forbidden grounds where you'll experience the unexplainable and see evidence preserved from that fateful day. So I love how they're given a backstory here. I think unfortunately though, the one thing that comes to mind when reading that is, it sounds pretty darn close to Mystic Timbers. And I'm not just talking about the name Twisted Timbers, how it's similar. Like, the theme is is pretty close to what they had going on there with the Miami River Lumber Company. You had an old lumber company abandoned, and finally now it's being opened up. Like, that's literally Twisted Timbers and what they just said. The difference is that they threw in some apples. So I think the theme could have been done a bit better. It kind of sounds like a bit of a copy and paste from Mystic Timbers. I think they definitely use that as like a bit of inspiration. That being said, if you look at some of these graphics, you can tell that they're going to be incorporating some of that theme into the ride. Not necessarily layout, but probably the queue experience and definitely the station. Remember, Hurler had probably the ugliest station you have ever seen. So if we pause this video real quick right here, you can see how they're redoing it to kind of make it look like an old warehouse where you'd have apple pickings and that kind of thing where they'd store all that. So I like that they're actually going to redo it because man, Hurler station, that, that needs it. So let's get into the ride experience. You're going to start off with a right hand turn out of the station and go up a much steeper lift hill than the original hurler. You're going to bank right and go into a 109 foot tall barrel roll drop. Everyone was speculating that hurler would have that new barrel roll drop. It was just begging for it and they absolutely went with that and I think that was a very smart decision because it is very different than all of the other drops that you have going on in the park. The closest thing to it is going to be Storm Chaser and that's not anywhere close. That's, we're looking at over 10 hours away. So it's very unique to the area. It's going to be the only one like on the East Coast. And remember, this is also the only RMC in the Mid-Atlantic. Our closest RMC is going to be Lightning Rod and that's rarely open. So this is definitely going to be a good fit for the area. But getting back to the layout, following that drop, you're going to go into this Ejector Bunny Hill. This is like a speed hill. Kind of think what Steel Vengeance has. And then we're going to go into this big overbank turn. This thing is going to be great. Look at this angle that you're going over. Totally awesome. So following that, we we have another small bunny hill and then this big airtime hill. Think kind of storm chaser like. And actually we have three of those in a row. And I'm actually surprised that they went with these three massive airtime hills in a row. I was willing to bet that they'd probably do like two of these giant airtime hills and then like a zero G stall. But there isn't a stall on this coaster, which I'm actually kind of disappointed about. I was willing to bet that we'd see some sort of stall on this ride and we aren't getting that. That being said though, they do have a cool inversion later in the ride. I'll get to that though. But one thing to note is that they said that there's actually going to be 20 airtime moments on Twisted Timbers. My gosh. You take a ride like Hurler that maybe had a few airtime moments, they are packing the airtime into this ride. And it's all going to be ejector airtime. We None of that floater stuff. This is all going to be sharp, intense ejector airtime. RMC is known for that. If you've ridden rides like Wicked Cyclone, Storm Chaser, Lightning Rod, any of those, you're going to get something similar like that here on Twisted Timbers. 
So following that third massive hill, we have this small, again, like bunny type, low to the ground ejector hill before going into this inversion. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the only one of its kind, at least as far as RMCs go. I've never seen anything like this. It's technically an inversion, but it's also like a turn. It's an upside down overbank turn, if that makes sense. They like combined like three different elements here to make one. It's actually really quite bizarre. I've Again, I've never seen anything like it, so I'm not sure how this sensation is going to be. I mean, then again, I mean, the first time, you know, when Goliath had that zero G stall, people are like, well, I don't know how that's going to be. It's never been done before. I think this is going to be similar. It almost looks kind of like a stall, but it's like, it's, it was like a, it's like an over bank turn but they like flipped it a bit so now it's like upside down i don't know what i'm describing here it's gonna be really weird though it's gonna be cool though i'm I, like i'm excited for it i think that was probably the biggest surprise for this coaster in terms of layout i was not expecting an element like that so following that we have two smaller airtime hills and then we have ready for this we have a trick track double up the meme survives guys you thought Storm Chaser was the only one? Heck to the nah. We're getting a Trick Track double up on Twisted Timbers. Aw, oh, man. So after that, we have another airtime hill. Yeah, I know, they just keep coming. And then we have this turn that goes underneath the hurler structure. And this is kind of cool, because it's going to bank one way and then throw you the other and then twist back the original way that it was going. So instead of a simple overbank turn, it starts to flip you outwards at one point. So that's going to be cool. It's going to be, be, you know, aggressive. It's going to be an aggressive turn. So next we have another airtime hill, because why not? And then we're getting our third inversion, which is a zero G roll, and that goes straight into this overbank turn, followed by another one. Small little twisted airtime hill into one more airtime hill, and then the brake run. And that, my friends, is Twisted Timbers, except I want to talk about this one last part that I don't think anyone has mentioned before. It's so slight, but look as, as it's going into the brake run. What happened here? Look at this. I mean, instead of having a straight shot to the station, it has to turn a little bit, like the slightest little bit, like less than a foot to the right. We're talking maybe like six inches here. It has to shift over. What in the world is going on here? What is this? Like, did it not line up perfectly and RMC had to just like slightly change it? Or is that where like the transfer is or something? But like, just like right there, I no one else has mentioned that before. And I'm just like, what in the world? I mean, nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's just straight track, but it's just like slanted a little bit. And I'm just, so I, I don't know. That's a little bizarre. But overall thoughts on Twisted Timbers. This is going to be a great ride. And it really kind of bothers me when people compare this so much to Steel Vengeance because people are just, this coaster's almost been overshadowed because of Cedar Point's announcement. So I just like to make, take a quick moment and say, guys, don't compare this to Steel Vengeance. They're in just two completely different leagues. We're talking about a coaster that is literally double the size of Twisted Timbers. That's not fair. It's like when people are comparing Mystic Timbers and Invader. Like, no, that's not a fair comparison. Twisted Timbers is going to stand on its own. It doesn't need to be compared to those. If you're going to compare this coaster to any other, it's going to be Storm Chaser. So the real question is, will this be better than Storm Chaser? And if RMCs are getting better as they go along, I think it's going to be very close. I think this very well could be better than Storm Chaser, but I'm going to reserve judgment until I ride it. Because Storm Chaser was hauling this past year. Storm Chaser was a fantastic fantastic ride and you have to remember that was also a redo but that has kind of a very funky type layout this one is more true to the like out and back a couple times where you're just passing through going under it yourself and it's more true to the original hurler layout as you see the new Twisted Timbers layout, you can clearly see it's like, okay, so that was where an airtime hill would be on Hurler. That's kind of how it originally was. And Hurler, for the most part, stayed low to the ground. And with Twisted Timbers, for a lot of it, you are also staying low to the ground. Which, again, just makes you feel like you're going even faster. At the end of the day, you do only have a top speed of 54 miles per hour, but it doesn't need to go any faster. So the final thing I'm going to mention before signing off here is I can't believe that they managed to pull this off, but Twisted Timbers has a longer track length 
than the original hurler. Every other RMC hybrid before this that was a redo of an old coaster has actually been a shorter ride than the original. Takes off a few hundred feet of track. Freaking Twisted Timbers is longer in track length than the original hurler. I don't know how they managed to pull that off, but it's like a few hundred feet longer. So I'm like, my gosh, that's totally awesome. So really, RMC, King's Dominion, good job, guys. I think this is going to be a good ride. In terms of layout, I think we're all really going to love the 20 airtime moments. Would I have liked to see a few other things in the layout? Sure, again, I would have loved to see like a cool st zero-g stall. But you know, for what they're giving us, this is gonna be a really strong RMC. Don't forget it, don't let this coaster get overshadowed because of Steel Vengeance. This is a ride that you guys should put towards the top of your list of must rides for 2018. So that's going to do it for this analysis. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, full credit for all of these animations goes to King's Dominion. And in case you're wanting to see another analysis of one of the other upcoming 2018 coasters, you'll be able to check them out on my channel. I have more coming. 2018 is a good year for roller coasters, so I'm going to make sure to do an analysis of all of them. So stay tuned for those, and I'll catch you guys later.